Chemayev and Leon Edwards is off for this year. It's supposed to be December 19th. They're going to move that fight. They're going to move it as quickly as they can. I think they're looking at January. That's that's unstated. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, back up. So two days ago, it comes out in a Swedish publication. And don't forget, that's where Chemayev lives. He lives in Sweden. He, somebody in Sweden, I think a dot com, but came out with a story that Chemayev had COVID and was in jeopardy of not being able to travel and do the Leon fight. Now, Chemayev's camp came out and said, that's not true. We don't know where that came from. That's just simply not true. Somebody just, just wrote that story. That was two days ago. Fast forward to today, I wake up, bloodyelbow.com has a headline, Chemaya versus Edwards off. So it's like, oh, I guess it was true. Well, I click on it I, and I read, and no, it wasn't Chemayev who had pulled out of the fight. Leon, Leon came up the COVID. So thoughts with Leon, first and foremost. But so that fights off, it gets moved. But it, it feels like the story's not done, right? I mean, it feels like there's a little bit more to this, starting with why did nobody call out Chemayev? I mean, a lot, a lot of guys call him out as soon as he was booked against Leon. Where did those guys go? Was it not even an option? Did Dana step in and go, no, I'm preserving the match. I'm preserving you two, and we're going to do it a month later. I don't know. I'm, a I'm simply asking a question, but it does seem like an opportunity missed. If somebody would have called him out, I would be talking to you about it right now. It would have been headline worthy. He would have got something for it. And not to mention, there's other guys in the weight class on the card, Wonder Boy's on the card, Jeff Neal's on the card. In fact, they're now going to fight in the main event just by example. It would seem as though you could just pull one of those guys, bump them against Chemayev. It would seem as though, historically speaking, there is no fight big enough that you just pull the whole thing and redo it a month later if you have the chance to preserve the main event, particularly the A side. Perhaps I'm talking about nothing, but I feel like there's a cover-up. But I can't help but feel it. Right. The cover up is always worse than the crime in anything, in absolutely anything, even if something doesn't matter. You said it was left when it was really right and it's uncircumstantial to anything and affects absolutely nobody. And you just said this, even though it was this, it'll turn into a big thing. And I can't help but feel as though we're not being told something here. It seems as though, it seems as though something's up with Chemayev. I mean, the Swedish publication reported that he had COVID. He said it wasn't true. The publication never came out and did a retraction. I don't know how they would be armed with that information, but they have not retracted it. It just feels as though when Leon then came down that, okay, let this go on Leon and we're not going to take it. We're still talking about nothing. We're talking about talking right now. There is absolutely no point to any of this other than it feels as though something here is missing that is none of our business and doesn't have anything to do with it, but there's no way to read this article and not feel as though something has not been left out. All in all, we're basically in the same spot that we were in prior to this happening. Shamayev's going to fight in a main event five rounds against Leon Edwards. That's still happening. It's just going to happen a month later. So I call it, Helwani was the one that like set this whole thing straight, right? Anytime there's like rumors in MMA, when Helwani finally comes out and says, here's what it is, everybody stops. The music stops. He's just always got the scoop and he's always got it right. And sometimes he's the last to the party. He's usually first. But when he comes in last, that's because there's a lot of moving parts and he gets everything in order before he comes out with a statement. So I called him because he had made a statement. I said, hey, by the way, since I have you on the phone, and he answers the phone and he goes, oh, my old buddy Chael, you must be about to make a video. and..." You want me to tell you a topic? Why else would you call? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm busted. You got me. It's literally exactly why I am calling you. But now that I have you, will you give me the scoop on Colby and Masvidal? Two of the biggest stars in the sport, the biggest stars within a division. We haven't heard from them in five months. Six months. Why? And he goes, well, he goes, what do you think is going to happen? I said, well, I have a feeling they're going to fight each other. And he goes, yes. He goes, I think that you're right. Nothing is official, but that is the direction 
that everything is pointing. The question is coming down to the date. And he said that it was tried to be done in December. Then they looked at January. Now they're looking at February. So I only bring that to you because I talked to Ariel and he seems to think those guys are going to compete. And so do I. And I don't know what would be holding that up. I know both of them were a little bit busy and they were even like involved in the campaign and they were traveling. And so I don't know if that took away from the training, if one has anything to do with the other. But I thought that was exciting news. That is definitely a match that needs to happen. For sure. Colby needs to be booked for a match that brings him closer to a championship. Masvidal needs to be booked for a match, and it's going to be huge because Masvidal is a mega star right now. It's just one of those things that needs to happen. But I can't talk about Masvidal fighting without saying, is the belt on the line? And I know Dana said this, but this BMF is going to be a one and done, but I, I don't know how that works. He is the BMF champion. He wasn't stripped. He didn't relinquish the belt. It's a major opportunity for somebody to fight for any title. Colby's already won an interim championship. He's fought for an undisputed championship. I think he needs to go out and fight for the BMF title. And I think Masvidal would put it up. I mean, again, I'm talking about talking. Perhaps it's a slow news day over here. I don't know. But I do maintain that Masvidal has a belt that he did not relinquish and he wasn't stripped of. I don't know the rules around belts any better than you guys do, but isn't that thing on the line? 